Well, the Tecumseh YMCA is now asking for the community's help. Shelby Consto is live in New Carlisle with our top story at 11. Shelby? Well, time is running out for the Tecumseh YMCA here in New Carlisle. Now, the sign here outside says it all. It says it reads, Save the YMCA. It's a plea to the public to keep it open. Take your mark. Shelly Randall has been coaching the children's swim team at the Tecumseh YMCA for the last five years, and she doesn't want it to be her last. Our hopes are that we'll just keep pushing through this and, and make it to the end and raise enough money to be able to stay open. The YMCA will have to close its doors December 23rd if they can't raise $175,000 in the next couple of weeks. It's a big goal, but the swim team is up for the challenge. They're holding swimathons, getting sponsors and selling t-shirts to save their pool and the Y. This means so much to us to keep this Y open and keep swimming, keep everything going. I mean, the Y is such an important part of the community. Ironically, it was the aquatic portion of the Y that set the nonprofit back a few years ago. The debt has been mounting and it now faces foreclosure. We're at a, at a point where if we don't receive that or we don't get that goal of $175,000, we will have to close. It's a devastating thought to Kathy Bame, who started working out at the Y two years ago. At that time, I weighed over 300 pounds. I could barely walk. Kathy lost over 120 pounds and says the therapy in lap pools saved her life. You do exercise and you don't even realize you're doing it. This, but this has been a godsend. It's helped my quality of life. For Coach Shelley, she has faith that the people of this community will pull together to save the gym and its programs. I kind of think hope is a big word in that. That's what we're just hoping that everybody looks at this and says, this is important. It's, it's not just important to these kids that are swimming, but it's, it's important to the community, to everyone. Now, so far, they have collected $30,000. If you would like to donate, you can stop by the Y here on 235 and fill out a pledge card. Reporting live in New Carlisle, Shelby Costo, 2 News on your side.